Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome to the new series of my channel, which is going to be Madden Predicts All 32 Teams. Most of them are not going to have intro, but just because this is the first time, I have to break it down a little bit. We're doing the Seattle Seahawks this time, and let me explain some stuff which needs to be covered. So, of course, I'm going to let Madden go through every single game predicting who's going to win and who's going to lose, but I'm also going to do one thing, and that's I'm keeping up with the stats. I'm going to keep up with the stats with three players. The starting quarterback of that said team, starting wide receiver, and the starting runner back, running back. I'm going to do three players. Players. I'm gonna keep up the stats of every single game and by the end of the entire simulation I'm gonna have cheats or graphics on the screen which will show how well these players did and some more stats like points per game points allowed per game more and such like that so for the Seattle Seahawks the players I did Russell Wilson Chris Carson and DK Metcalf those three players I'll do three different players of course the trio quarterback wide receiver running back trio for all 32 teams and of course at the end of the video I'm gonna show how they did and all their stats through these simulations with that being said let's start with our first Madden simulation how well does Madden think the Seattle Seahawks are gonna do this season let's go so we start our season with the Colts and our first down from Carson Wentz yes I know Carson Wentz got injured he probably won't be playing week one it sucks no one likes having an injury, but here is Carson Wentz, which is going to go for a deep ball all the way down, and okay, maybe it's a good thing Carson Wentz got injured. All right, next play after that, third down and 10. This is the final play of the game, and Carson Wentz, it's going to end on a pick. Seahawks, who are going to start this season 1-0, beating the Colts 35-28. Next week, they'll go 2-0, they'll beat the Titans 33-27. And they'll get their first loss versus the Minnesota Vikings 34-24 here in Minnesota let's hope they can get bounced back and get a win and okay not too sure what happened here they lose by 20 next game after that they're gonna beat the Rams 20 to 10 and they'll get back on track going 3 and 2 20 to 10 final score from Seattle maybe they'll get something rolling next and once again I just don't know what's going on with the Seahawks they're being really inconsistent they lose this game 45 to 26 to the Saints without Drew Brees not too sure what happened there Big loss for them by Jameis Winston. And you know the Seahawks are in trouble when they have to get a game-tying drive to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So it's 35-28. to Russell Wilson's first pass right there. Still with a minute and 20 next pass. Down by 7. This one's going to make it for around an 8-yard pickup to a receiver I never heard of. Aldridge, I think. 50 seconds on the clock. Russell Wilson's going for a deep ball for a touchdown. And once again, why does this happen? 35-28. to 49 seconds left. Next play after that. Third down and two. Short gain right here for Russell Wilson, but it's going to gain some extra yards after the catch up to the 44-yard line. Now the 25-yard line. Some plays have continued, and this one, the midfield, breaks the tackle, and that's in the end zone. That's going to tie this game up. They would get the extra point and go on to tie it. First receiving touchdown for Everett, number 81 in the team, and it's tied at 35. So we're into overtime. This is the first play overtime. I had to show this, and here comes Bobby Wagner. Mmm! Eating up James Robinson. Didn't stand a chance. That was kind of a suicide pass for Trevor Lawrence. Can we get a replay on that right here? Oh my goodness. That was so good. EA had to go to a commercial break. Next play after that. Second down and eight. Trevor Lawrence is going to hand the ball off. Once again, Bobby Wagner does it again. You surprised? I'm not. 35-35. Next play after that. Tight end has it. And oh, he doesn't. It's on the ground. And picking up by Witherspoon to return to the house. Touchdown, Seahawks. They're going to walk this off in overtime versus Jacksonville. I don't know how that ball was on the ground. It looked like to me, if we can get a replay on that. Seahawks up 41-35. Russell Wilson celebrating for his life. And yeah, I think he was down, but ignore that. Seahawks win the game 41-35 over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now versus the Green Bay Packers. This is a tough game and a must-win game too to get back on track. As Aaron Jones is going to take this one and he breaks the ta- And okay, that's a touchdown. Seahawks get the ball back. Russell Wilson going to run out of the pocket. And I'm not going to lie, that one made me tinkle a little bit all the way to the other sideline. And that's all the way downfield to the 33 now. They get it back, going for another pass, third down and eight. This one all the way up to the 17-yard line now. Russell Wilson's continuing. He's going to take off himself here as he runs really slowly. First down and 10, and he's going to find his way to the three, running it all the way down there as he runs like he's stealing a baby right now. Gets back up, first down and goal. And here's going to be a touchdown that, nope, you thought. He dropped the ball. 30 to 22 lines back up however and they're actually going to get the touchdown this one wide open DK Metcalf no one on them that's going to account for six they still need two more points though with a two-point conversion so a huge two-point conversion here it is this is the tied up and they're what are they doing 
I mean, why would they hand the ball off to a white running back named Homer? I don't know. They end up losing this game 30 to 28. Why not Chris Carson punch that him? It just seems like the Seahawks know when to run and when to pass the wrong times. Aaron Rodgers needs this one down. Seahawks will lose. Next game, they'll get a rebound though versus the Cardinals. 37 to 23. Always good to win after a loss. In this case, I guess so. And then they'll win another game 40 to 28 over Washington. So we're getting a little bit of steam picking up. A little more consistent now, you can say, for the Seahawks. Next game after that, they're going to lose. 24 to 14. Niners pull off a win there. And once again, they get back on track. They're going to get a win over the sorry Texans with Deshaun Watson, 27 to 17. Not too sure what the record is, but they're kind of bouncing back and forth right now. Next game after that, 31 to 31 versus their division rival, the LA Rams, at the 50, and he gets through this like butter, getting all the way for the first down at the 34-yard line. First timeout call for the Rams. Let's see if they can drain their timeouts. Here's Chris Carson, the first time I said his name, and he's going to go down to a two-yard pickup. Waste another timeout though. Lines back up once again. Why not hand it off to Chris Carson to punch off another timeout and the final timeout for the Rams. So 43 seconds left. The Seahawks can win this game now. Third down and six. Let's see if they can get some more yards. They'll get stopped just short once again to Chris Carson. And now they can line up for a field goal to win this game. 34 to 31. Let's just see if they can knock this down on a game time expiring field goal. Here comes the kick. Snap. Kick is up and it's good. The Seahawks will win this one. 34-31 game winning drive in the hands of Russell Wilson and the kick with Myers. And they're going to beat the Rams in LA. 34-31. Good win right there. Much needed one too. And somehow, someway, they lose to the Bears. Andy Dalton, not too sure. 36-30. You, I don't know how you lose that game. Seahawks lose this one. I, just don't, I don't even know what the record is. They're bouncing back and forth right now. And they're going to get another win versus the Lions, and I'm pretty sure this puts them at 9 wins. So they're 9-7 and seven right now, and if they win this last one, they get 10 wins, but if they lose, they'll be sitting at 9-8. Starting from their own 4-yard line is Chris Carson again. He's going to punch for 5 yards. They're tied at 17 of the division rivals in Week 18, the final game of the season. This could be a big game. Here comes a flag, however, second down and 6, and this one is going to give them a little bit farther out of their own end zone, and it's going to push them all the way up now to the 29-yard line. Isaiah Simmons commits that one. He used to be a rookie from Clemson. 17-17, 42 seconds left. Russell Wilson looks for the pass, gets this one for a first down completion and more to DK Metcalf to the 43-yard line now. First down and 10, 30 seconds on the clock. Next play after that, Russell Wilson. He's going to run out to his left and gets taken down for, I don't know why you want to run there. That's I, I just don't understand. Once again, he runs, and like I said, I just the Seahawks can never, never make up their mind when they need to run or pass the ball, and it's proven here. And we're going to overtime, but thankfully for the Seahawks' favor, even though it's tied at 17, they do get the ball back here in overtime first. So that means if they score a touchdown, they win the game. Here comes their first possession. Russell Wilson with the first pass. This is a completion right here, and it's going to get him to the 40-yard line now, lining back up for a new set of downs. Tied at 17, still in overtime. Russell Wilson lines back up. Looks for the pass. This one's a tire locket. And that one's pushed for another first down. But here comes a flag once again. And this flag is going to be holding on the offense. Now, this is kind of a funny play, which I've never seen. And it shows how bad Madden is. It should be a first down and 10. But nope, it's going to be a first down and 8. That's impossible. It's illegal. There's there no such thing as a first down and 8. But Madden defines that right here. Eight yards to go, first down. I, I don't understand. That just shows you how bad Manning can be at sometimes, usually all the time. Tied at 17, and let's see if they can do anything with their favor with a first down and eight play. Ends up they don't, so they only gain one yard. But hey, it's second down and seven now, even though it should have been first down and 20. Thank you, Madden, for that. Russell Wilson lines up third down to seven. Didn't do much with it. Gets another runoff, and he'll get the first down this time. Now continuing into overtime and skip some plays. We're now down to two minutes. Third down and nine, looks for a pass, and that was horrible play call as they get taken down at the field goal line now. So it's going to be a really long field goal, fourth down and 14. If they get it, they don't win the game yet, but they would have a lead over the Cardinals in the minute left. And this kick is up and is short. It's not going to make it. It's to the left as well. Seahawks don't make it with Myers. It's tied at 17, and Kyle Murray gets the ball back. Third down and seven. Look like he might go to the end zone here. He will, and it will be. Why is it he keep on overthrowing the receivers? I don't understand. Cardinals end up punting it, but so did the Seahawks. Seahawks get the ball back, and they end up punting it as well. They only had like 40 seconds, and they waste all that time. Don't understand. Cardinals get the ball back. Hey, another flag. Let's see if we get like a first down and six or something. 
ends up what happening. It's a blocking back. Oh, never mind. Cardinals are getting screwed by the referees right now. So bad that the referees get the Seahawks a first down in eight play. And that will back, back them up 10 yards. And it'll be first down 10 for the 31-yard line. Oh, that does not matter because Kyler Murray to DeAndre Hopkins shuts up the Seahawks and these horrible refs. And they're going to win this game 23-17 and puts an end to the Seahawks' this season, making them go 9-8 in this simulation. 23-17 final score from week 18 and that's it as Russell Wilson cries on the bench knowing that his team didn't even get 10 wins. So that's a wrap for episode 1 of 32 the Seattle Seahawks and as I said here are the graphics for the statistics of that said simulated season. So Russell Wilson will start with him 5,082 yards 39 touchdowns and 22 interceptions kind of a lot on the interception ends and touchdown and yards wise, I can see that's reasonable. DK Metcalf, he had 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 99 receptions. A little less yards and touchdowns than last year. A little bit of an off year for him. Chris Carson had another 1,000 year rushing yard game, or season I mean. 9 touchdowns with almost 300 attempts. And of course, my prediction of the Seattle Seahawks was to go 8-9. And Madden's was 9-8. and eight. So not a big of a difference. I have him going under 500, but Madden has him getting the advantage over 500. Points forward, that's of course how many points they scored for the entire season 469 with points against being 485 so as you can see more points allowed on their defense than their offense actually scored I have a little bit more to look at though considering there's some more stats to keep up with Russell Wilson he averaged 299 yards per game passing wise with his best game being in week 15 I believe it was the Rams 365 yards and four touchdowns DK Metcalf his average was 11 yards per catch his best game was week 18 which was the last week versus the Cardinals 118 yards, one touchdown, eight receptions, and Chris Carson with averaging 3.7 yards per carry. His best game was the opening week versus the Indianapolis Colts with 116 yards, two touchdowns, and eight attempts. This at the bottom, points per game, that's their average points per game scored. They had about 27.6 average points. Points allowed was 28.5, and their point differential, what we were just looking at, is a negative 16. So that's the Seattle Seahawks. That's one out of 32 teams. Let me know who's next. I'll see you guys later.